have a little chat because things are changing and change is scary and I have anxiety disorder so everything is a mess in my head, in my heart, in my body. <laughs> I um, no longer have health care so I'm doing this on my own. <laughs> I wrote a couple notes so I'm gonna refer to them but I talk about how I'm a night owl all the time, right? But hardly ever Am I not able to go to sleep because I'm worried about something? I'm not like tossing and turning because I have anxiety about something. Which you would think because I have anxiety and I'm always going through that, but it never like affects my sleep. I can't sleep for other random reasons. But the other night, it was actually the case that I couldn't sleep because I was so worried and so anxious about life and like what's gonna happen and having to make big decisions. For a while now I've been saying that you know or thinking that I'm gonna be living in New York City sometime soon. Like I just can't afford to live here anymore. Prices were cheaper a few years ago when I first moved into this apartment because it was the tail end of pandemic prices but it's gone up a lot and if I want to move from here from this specific apartment to a different one in the city it's really not worth it. The same price that I pay here at this apartment can now only get you a studio, which is absolutely baffling. Can you imagine we have billions of dollars to send over to some random ass country and yet we can't have affordable living in our own country? <laughs> Love America so much. I've been, you know, had it in my head and preparing myself and also just being like, you know what, I think I am done with New York City. But now that the possibility of actually leaving is approaching me, it is fucking terrifying. Like, I don't want to go. I love New York City for the accessibility. Like, everything that I need is here, essentially. And it's easy for me to get the things that I need, you know what I mean? But I came here, I always say that I came to New York City to live, but I also went to school. I didn't just come here to go to school. I feel like a lot of people in people that used to be my friends they came here only to go to school and so they didn't really like live in New York City and they didn't take advantage of the place that they were in you know and so I figured after college I would live here and go and work here but it is the typical post-college grad can't find a job applying to a, a thousand million jobs you don't hear back from and it's super fucking discouraging and demoralizing and it's horrible because it's like um I got a degree and you want a degree so here you go, hire me. I just feel like I'm wasting money at this point and I want to go somewhere else, but I don't know where in America to go because I'm from Belize, so I don't have a home base in America. I also don't really have a home base in Belize either because my childhood home was sold. And yes, my mother has a place to live, but that is not like my home. And so it doesn't feel like I'm going home to something, you know what I mean? I mean, I. You know going home and let me in there i'll make it my home and i'll get used to it but just that idea in my head and you know feeling comfortable and with change and things of course my camera is gonna die i love that for me but anyway the other part of the conversation to going home to belize to live for a few months until i you know figure out where i want to go in america is my aunt is sick she has cancer and in a few weeks we will know if the chemo has been working or not and regardless if it is or not do i stay home and take care of her for a few months um also like i'm not gonna have this time probably ever again to live at home and get to do my research for um which is a topic that i started in college at the end of college my thesis which was what i was working on today but we'll get into that in a second like if i go to grad school which has been you know up there i've been i was supposed to decide in the summer and do all the research of what schools I would like to go to and where, you know, I kind of did a little bit of it, but I didn't really do the entire thing, okay? Summers are hard for me, okay? I get depresso. Also, speaking of the weather, it's raining right now and it hasn't been raining in ages. I'm, it's so beautiful. And it was a perfect day because today I went to the library, which I should have been doing this more often in the past few months, but I went to the New York Public Library, Rose Reading Room, I think it's called, and just worked there. My thesis that I wrote for the end of my 
college, my college thesis, which my major is photography. And if I go to grad school, then I will do history or I would like to do history. I wrote a thesis, but I was very, I was going through a lot in that last semester or the last two semesters. My mom had something going on, surgery stuff. And so it was so hard for me to actually do the writing portion of my thesis and so what I submitted in the end of that I knew that I would come back to and actually fix and clean up and so that's what I was doing today. I printed out a copy of my thesis at the beginning of summer. I was supposed to do this during the summer again and I only annotated like a couple of pages but the other day I went through and did all of my annotations, all the things that I want to edit and then I went through and then typed them all in. Also my original file like it, it it was a whole mess. So I ended up having to reformat everything. Love that. But yeah, I like to print out my writing because I write the way that I speak, which doesn't translate into writing very well. So I like to, you know, write, take time away from it and come back to it because then I can actually see it with fresh eyes and sometimes from a more objective, not really because it'll never really be objective, but a little bit more of an objective view of it. And I'm better able to make proper edits to it. So I like to print it out and so then that go through is one look and then typing out the edits back onto the computer is like another go through of it. That was really helpful um, and I did everything. I didn't think I was going to finish the entire thing today but I did it and then I will have to do one more read through just to make sure everything is the way that I want it to be. And my deadline that I set for myself is Friday and today is Tuesday. So if I can be like, I'm done, it's finished, that'd be great. There are some other writings for, you know, grad school applications in general that I need to do. So I'm going to now strive to have those done by Friday because grad school application stuff are mostly due in December and January. So this all needs to get done now. But also I am treating life as if I'm moving. So I've started packing. Can you see any boxes? I don't think you can see a box, but I started packing up stuff and decluttering. I have a lot of stuff that I just, you know, but it's been living in my apartment. I ha probably haven't touched the entire time I've been living here. So going through all of that, I'm also very sentimental. So I like to keep things and so letting go of those stuff. My camera died, but I'm almost done. So we'll just do a little blank voice over here. Going through and getting rid of things to declutter and then also to hopefully make it easier for when I do move if it is next month or in six months time. These plans will be solidified within the next like two or three weeks. So just getting a head start because I have a lot of things and it's very overwhelming. So taking it like one section at a time. As if you can tell from my voice, it is super, super stressful and I am very scared because I, I don't like change. I love my routine and yeah. <sighs> And like I said, I love New York City, even though I also feel like I, I'm ready to go. It's just very conflicting. And <sighs> the most I've solidified in the last few months is that, yes, I think I would like to go to grad school and I would like to study history. So those are my tentative plans and hopefully I get into grad schools and I will I will make all of the deadlines because obviously I don't really have a choice if I don't make the deadlines. <laughs> also, I don't work out at like libraries or cafes much because I don't like leaving Rocky but today I ne really needed a change of scenery to go and like focus on this and I'm so glad that I got it all out so I love that for me see the first step towards being more academic <laughs> also the big thing that was hard in making the decision to go to grad school was that I haven't really had an academic focus in a long time I've been more creatively focused and so it'll take a big shift in my working mentality but I think I am ready for that. I will be ready for that by the time the beginning of the semester rolls around, whenever that might be, this year or next year. We'll see.
in the past few years i've done such a good job on resisting my instinctual urge to write run-on sentences i've been so good about it but i just wrote the most beautiful longest run-on sentence <laughs> You can't stop me, it's who I am, it's who I'm meant to be. time to do the complete read through so that I can say that I've officially finished it and once I finish this I will never touch it again I'm scared actually I might go get something to eat first <laughs> Not focus on words.
my aunt is sick. <laughs> oh god, I'm so horrible for laughing. Children are literally crazy. I'm gonna cry. Um, she's sick, and so she has no hair. And so my, uh, I guess you would call her my, my cousin's child, whatever you, whatever that is to me. This is how she drew my aunt. Everybody, everybody has hair, and that is my aunt. <laughs> I can't wait to go home and touch her little bald head. I just feel like it'll feel so good. <laughs> I really wanted to do an in uninterrupted read through but i couldn't focus and then i got into it and then my sister called me and we had a chat for a while and now i finished it and now i have to say that it is officially done because i cannot continue to keep going over it it, it just needs to be done at some point so <sighs> always wear my hair in braids when I go to the movies but when I went to see um <laughs> what killers of the flower moon I felt so weird wearing braids <laughs> I was like does it look like I'm pulling up in cosplay and then recently I've been wearing one braid down the back but I can't do that because I'm gonna go see the second hunger game no nope. the prequel hunger games movie and Katniss Everdeen is the braid gal why the past two movies that I've gone to see have to do with braids? I'm going to see The Ballad of Songbirds and, Songbirds and Snakes. I was actually really looking forward to seeing this movie when it came out, but events in October, uh, and I don't know, I, I just didn't feel motivated to go see it when it came out, like right as it came out, because I wanted to see it within one of the first few showings, and then I didn't go see it, so I keep seeing TikToks now, and I know a lot more about the book, so... I'm gonna go see the movie and I'm excited. Oh wait, but also going to the movies gives me so much anxiety because A, I hate leaving Rocky for so long. B, what is that thing called where like you feel like restricted in like a, a circumstance? No, circumstance? Oh my God, what? My brain is fried from all the writing I was doing yesterday, but oh, also I had an existential crisis last night. But like, you know, when you, you go somewhere and then you feel like you're trapped, movies are like the worst for me because like I'm trapped because it's a movie theater, but also because I paid money and I have to stay there and watch the entire thing. I can't just get up and go do something else, you know? So I gotta go like right now. Um, I think the trains are down. So I love that for me.